Kenya is a long way to go to get WRC two points. But adventurous crews have done just that, hunting for valuable points in their title race this season. The excitement got to Kenya's Saman Singh Vora on Thursday night. First a penalty for his eager jump start to stage one, which was followed by this shuddering roll in his Fabia Evo. Carl Tundo's a multiple winner of this event in Kenya, but that experience didn't help him avoid a slow puncture in the morning on Friday, and then having to stop in the rerun of the geothermal stage. Not to mention dramas that he had with his nut gun and car jack, both of which let him down on Friday. Kenya's safari rally is a classic but unforgiving event. Crews, drivers, teams will do anything for a good result. They'll do anything to get driving again and reach the end of the day and then the end of the weekend. Charles Munster did just that when his I-20 stopped in Saturday's final stage. A brutal test, but Munster refused to cave in. Well, it was his safari debut. The stage end was in sight, so he soldiered on to Sunday and finished in fifth. And Daniel Twist fought on when he had to stop in the morning attempt at Sleeping Warrior. There was no question of giving in, because at the time he was battling Munster for that fifth place. The leading places didn't change on Sunday morning. Nicolas Siaman, despite a limited recce, finished in fourth place on what was his first attempt at the Kenyan Classic. The Frenchman had bent the steering on his I-20 Rally 2 in Stage 9 on Saturday, but had built up a good margin. He took care to protect it on Sunday's six stages. In third, Kajetan Kajetanovic, who also took the trophy in the Challenger Series. The Polish driver admitted afterwards that his weekend had been so reliable and conservative, it had risked being boring. Finishing was everything for his team and sponsors. Without Friday's punctures, things might have been very different for Oliver Solberg. He had to change a wheel in stage three, costing them almost two minutes and then fix another puncture in the very next stage. It was full steam ahead from there, 11 stage wins in all, including the power stage. But the damage had been done. Second place, good for the Swedes championship. Gus Greensmith battled sickness and stomach problems on Friday, his worst day ever in a rally car, he said. But that was the day he built the foundations for this win and a lead of well over three minutes. Eight fastest times in all, enough speed, enough care to make sure that Oliver couldn't get back into the battle for the win. This was Gus's season's debut and he started with a win. Good job. Uh, yeah, it's been a long weekend, but yeah. Very, very happy, brilliant way to start the season, and yeah, thank you to all the team, the car's been impeccable all weekend, so yeah, perfect. The British driver won by a minute and 23 seconds. Carl Tundo was the best place Kenyan driver, finishing in seventh. Hamza Anwar won the WRC3 class. The Kenyan was the only driver to enter. Maximum points. A win is a win on any continent.